Hi, this is Mohammed bin Salman, aka MBS. He's the crown prince of a little country called Saudi Arabia. But he's had some problems. He's tired of having a lot of troubles and of facing any opposition. Fortunately, he came up with a creative solution. Abuse of power. This innovative solution includes murder for anyone he sees as a threat, like his alleged ordering of the murders of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi and activist Abdul Rahim Al Hwati. This tactic has been so successful that MBS has put Saudi Arabia among the top five leaders in executions worldwide. Next on the list is detention and imprisonment for anyone who speaks out, including such nefarious scholars and religious figures, and those pesky women's rights activists. Don't worry, he gave them the right to drive, so it's cool. Ever the family man, he's also detained several members of the ruling Al Saud family. And MBS had hundreds of businessmen and royal family members detained at the Riyadh Ritz Carlton, where they were tortured, abused, and swindled to the tune of $400 billion. As a crackdown on corruption, of course. Moving on to our next item, war. MBS has gifted the already ailing country of Yemen a war that now boasts the title of world's worst humanitarian crisis. He's the peacekeeper of our time? Last, but certainly not least, we have intimidation tactics. According to The Guardian magazine, he hacked billionaire and Washington Post owner Jeff Bezos' phone. And the BBC reported that the mischievous scamp invited Lebanon's Prime Minister Hariri for a meeting and then presented him with a resignation speech to read on TV. He gathered his pals in the UAE, Bahrain, and Egypt, and together they severed ties with Qatar and imposed trade and domestic blockades. And ugh, Justin Trudeau. MBS expelled the Canadian Prime Minister, froze trade with the country, and ordered Saudi students in Canada to return home, all because Trudeau requested Saudi Arabia improve their human rights record. Uh, the audacity! Now, with his four simple steps completed, MBS has created a chaos on which he thrives. So from here, it'll be smooth sailing for all of Saudi Arabia, thanks to the champion of the people, Mohammed bin Salman.